Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a service in Angular 2 and how to inject it as a dependency. All right, so in Angular 1, we would inject dependencies through the scope and there is no more scope in Angular 2. So how we do it is through a constructor inside of the component class. All right, and we'll get to that in a minute, but let's go ahead and create a new file. And by the way, we just we just have a blank quick start up. If you don't know how to set up the quick start, go back to video two of this series and that'll get you all set up. All right, so let's go ahead and create this service. So I'm going to call this post dot service dot TS. All right. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to import a package called injectables. All right. Uh, wait a minute. Is it plural? No, it's just injectable and it's going to be from Angular 2 slash core. OK, and then we're going to add the injectable decorator. Just like that, and then we're going to create the service class. OK, we're going to call it post service. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to have a static uh, array of objects and it's going to just mimic some kind of uh, response from an API. I'll show you how to do that, how to actually fetch data from a uh, thir from an API probably in the next video. But for now, I'm just going to put in uh, just a simple static array of objects. So we'll say posts and let's set that. Actually, you know what? Let's just do this and then we'll create a constructor. And inside there, we'll say this dot posts, set it to an array. OK, we're going to have a couple objects here. Each post will have a title. And a body. All right, now I'm just going to copy this and we'll just create a couple more. So we got a couple posts here. Now what we're going to do is go right under the constructor and create a function called get posts. Oops. And what we're going to do here is just return this dot posts. And that's it. OK, so normally you would have this interact with some kind of um, JSON API or something like that, which I'll show you how to do later on. But for now, that's good. So what we need to do now is uh, let's see, I'm going to create a new component. So let's see, new file and we're going to say posts dot component dot TS. All right, and I'm just going to grab what we have in the root app component. Save a little bit of time. Paste that in. OK, we're going to change the selector to posts. And we'll just change the H1 to posts. And the class is going to be called post component. All right, so we need to import this into the root app component. So we're going to go in there and we're going to say import uh, post component from dot slash post dot component. OK, and then we're going to add it as a directive. All right, now we also have to include our service that we created. So let's say import post service from post dot service. All right. Now, when we have a service, we're not going to put it as a directive. We're going to put it as a provider. So we're going to add here providers. OK, if you don't do this, you won't be able to see um, you won't be able to use the service. So post service. All right. Now, to see the component, we're going to put that in here. So we'll say posts. 
post and let's save that. Okay, so now we can see the post component, which right now is just a heading. So let's go back into the post component and we have to include the service here as well, which I'll just copy from here. Oops. All right. Now, the way that we like I said, the way we do dependency injection is through the constructor. Okay, so we're going to go in here and we're going to add as an argument private post service post service just like that. All right. We can now use this post service and any methods we created in the service from anywhere within this component. So let's set this dot post to underscore. You don't need to put the underscore, but that's kind of a um, popular convention. So I would suggest it. Uh, what you're going to say, get posts. Okay, we have to add posts here as well. All right, so that'll fetch it from this get post, which we created right here. All right, and then what we want to do is go into our template. Let's turn these into back ticks so that we can use multiple lines. I love that new ES2015 feature. All right, and we're going to put a UL. And LI and we're going to do an NG4. And put in here posts. Actually, we want to do post of posts. Okay, and then in here we should be able to let's put an H3 and we should be able to say post dot title and then right under it we'll do post dot body. All right, let's see what that gives us. And there we go. So we're fetching these posts from the service. Now, let's say we want to have a little form here to add a post. Okay, so to do that, let's go ahead and create a form. And we'll have uh, this will be for the title. input will have the type of text and we're going to use ng model here so we'll set this to title and I'm going to copy that this one will be for the body All right, so we also need a submit button. I'm going to put input type submit value submit. All right, so let's see. It doesn't look too uh, stylish, but that's fine. So what we want to do is we need to have some kind of event for when we submit the form. So let's go up to the form tag. And we're going to use parentheses here and we're going to say submit equals add post. All right. And then down here, we'll say add post. Okay. And then let's test it out. We'll say console log submitted. Okay. Click submit and we get submitted. So what we'll want to do here is we need to catch the title and the body. So let's add them as properties. So we get the title and we get the body. So when we add the posts here, we're going to want to create an object. Okay, so let's do this dot uh, new post. And I'm actually going to add that up here.
I'm going to set that to be an object. Title is going to be this dot title. And body is going to be this dot body. All right, and then what we'll do is use we'll call a service method. So we're going to say this dot underscore post service dot add post. And then we'll pass in this dot new post. All right, I forgot to put this up here as well. Okay, so now what we'll do is save that go to our service and create add post. Okay, that's going to take in the new post object. And then I just want to test it out by doing a console log. Okay, submit. And there it is. All right, so when it adds, I mean, this is where we would do our API call to actually upload to a server somewhere and save in a database. Now, we're not going to do that right now, but what we will do is push it to the posts item. All right, so we'll say this dot posts dot push and pass in new posts. So now if we go ahead and say test title and test body and then submit it shows up right down here okay it's not persisting anywhere if i reload it's going to be gone because we didn't do any kind of api call or anything like that all right but this gives you an idea of how services work so in the next video i'm going to show you how to interact with uh, a json api and also how to use observables if we if we return an observable the application or the component will constantly watch and subscribe and update to any changes that's done uh, on that service method all right so we will get into that in the next video